Today we have come to Hindmarsh Falls. We've just started our journey down. I can hear, I don't know if it's wind I can hear or if it's the water I can hear. <laughs> seem to help people um, look at the track and stuff so we thought we might try out this one as well so it's about a hundred meter walk from the car park watch out winding track now the path itself um, has been concrete from the car park which was just there it's a nice slow gradual um, decline down there's also a handrail as well. Can you see something? Oh. So we've been walking for 30 seconds and already we can see a nice view of the waterfall. There's our first glimpse. There's multiple stopping sites along the way where you can rest and look out. Um, and each different spot gives you a different angle and view of the waterfall. So we've encountered quite a few stairs now coming down um, and they can be quite um, a large little drop. We've just come around the bend and that's the end. We've made it. That was all of a what, five minute walk? Yeah. Felt like three minutes. hike to a waterfall on the journey back up that's where you're gonna battle against the stairs that we that we climbed on the way down Alright, so I just had a little look at the Walking SA website. So they say the Hindmarsh Falls is 200 metres return. So yeah, I'd agree, 100 metres each way. Duration, 15 minutes. I feel like it took about 4 minutes to walk down, 4 minutes to walk up. Yeah, spend 5 minutes looking at the waterfall. So that would be um, on par. Difficulty was easy. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, it was a nice concrete path, um, stairs, but I think that was, you know, pretty easy to access. Uh, you'll need to travel by car to get here. There's two car park options, so just keep driving up the hill and you'll get to the top car park. And then they've got the travel time from Adelaide is one to two hours. Um, definitely a nice little waterfall. Come check it out. Not as extravagant as the Manum Falls. Um, you couldn't really walk um, and, you know, adventure down like you could at Manham. This one, you just stopped from the lookout at the top, but it was still really nice. There's no toilet blocks here at the Hindmarsh Falls. Um, they do have these picnic tables. There's a rubbish bin. Uh, no camping, uh, gas fires only. There's another one of these um, benches here at the back. And the third one also has a shelter. So for really hot summer days or if it's raining, you've got one bench there with a shelter. Uh, no barbecue facilities, so just keep that in mind. Hello. <laughs> so our phones have no reception now and we can't get the GPS working. We can't work out what time the bakery closes. So we are just adventuring it. It says we have two bars. <laughs> closes at five, we're good. Oh. <laughs> On the road to Port Elliot. 
seven minutes away. On B37 for one and a half kilometers. So we have just turned onto Port Elliot Road. It's a small little coastal town. The bakery is supposedly a very, very good bakery. They've always got huge lineups every weekend. I remember coming um, down here once with a friend and we were like, nah, we're not lining up for that. It was just crazy, but we're gonna check out the lineup today, see if it's mega long, and then decide if we're gonna stand in it or not. See, but the Port Elliot pub just there, and then the bakery opposite. Can't believe there's no lineup, that's so good. Here we go, Port Elliot Bakery. Freshly baked daily. All right, so we just went inside and got all our goodies. And we also got the donut of the month. Why don't you get a tuna pie? Mm. I used to get them when I worked here. They're beautiful. A tuna pie. Mm. Is it like a Mornay but yeah. in a pie? Same thing. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Oh, does everyone want a little bit? Do I cut it into quarters? No. Oh, the cream just came out. Is it cream or custard? I think it's custard. She's... That's nice. Actually, a really nice chocolate. Well, that was a really nice lunch. Um, I think everyone enjoyed their food. Yeah, it was good. The pasties were good. I wouldn't say it's like the best in the state or anything. It was tasty. It was but enjoyable. Yeah, enjoyable. Donut of the month. That was really good. Yeah, it tasted nice. We are leaving Port Elliot, heading back home. That was a great uh, day trip out to the Hindmarsh Falls. It was wonderful, nice little walk down there, beautiful lunch at Port Elliot Bakery. What just a lovely day. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more fun, more times, more trips, more adventures. And we will catch you on the roundabout. <laughs>